Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scrappy Academy. My name is Captain Nemo, and in this video I'm bringing you the Electroloon strategy straight from the AWL. Stay tuned. <laughs> Today we're hanging out in Season 3, Revengers Division of America's War League and showcasing three Electroloon strategies that you just have to see. All three hits are taken from the latest War of the Week and we'll show this awesome strategy at Town Hall 12, 11 and 10. As always we're gonna break down these attacks, show you some replays and give you all the pro tips that you need in order to 3 star like a champion. Big shout out to AWL for making all of this possible. Now let's get started. First up we have Beast going against Wiggoliath. He decides to bring 34 loons, 10 minions, 3 hounds, a blimp full of electro dragon and loons, 2 freezes, 2 clones, 3 haste spells and a rage. This is a 3 kill squad attack. You blimp with the electro dragon and loons, you suicide heroes and then the lava loon portion. The idea here is to send your suicide heroes into an air defense and take it out if possible. They should also create a funnel. Your blimp needs to go into a high value defensive area containing wizard towers, infernos, clan castle and you guessed it, air defenses. Beast here does just that. Coming in from the eastern direction with his suicide heroes and a blimp he throws in an extra hound and a few loons and manages to take out. 4 cannons, 3 archer towers, eagle artillery, inferno, a clan castle, a wizard tower and 4 air defenses. That my friends is what I call great value. Beast here did a great job planning and took out the entire eastern portion of the base. He also created a runway for his lava hounds and loons to go directly into the heart of whatever is remaining in this base. Lava hounds first with the grand warden in the rear, he starts his balloon parade. Good placement of the freeze takes care of the multi inferno and the town hall, while the grand warden pop ensures that his balloons stay alive through the giant bomb. Hasting his balloons through the tough areas and using the freeze on the back end inferno helps him get through the rest of the base and earn the well deserved 3 star. Very nice job, let's watch him wrap this up. Next up at Town Hall 11 we have Gus Gus going against Yosemite Sam. He decides to bring 27 loons, a baby dragon, 9 minions, 3 hounds, a blimp full of electro dragon and loon, a freeze, 2 clones, a poison, 3 haste spells and a rage. Entering from the northwestern direction with his blimp and a few loons almost turns this attack into a ghost electro dragon. By a slight misplacement in his spells he ends up cloning the electro dragons versus the loons. But nonetheless he pushes through and takes out the entire northern portion of that base. I'm sure just like he planned. He sends in his heroes from the south to take out the air defense and the wizard tower, managing to get one of them. His first two kill squads manage to create that runway I keep talking about. Take a look at the northern portion of the base. The archer tower with the bomb tower create a perfect runway for his loons and his hounds. He can now easily concentrate on deploying the hounds as tanks and sending the loons to surgically attack every defense in that line. He can also easily predict the pathing of his balloons and funnel them directly where he wants them to go into a clockwise lava loon that he's prepared. Great planning, patience and execution earns Gus Gus the well deserved 3 star. Very nice job. Let's watch him wrap this up. Next up we're gonna watch a knock going against little Jimmy. He decides to bring 27 loons, 10 minions, 3 lava hounds, a stone slammer full of electro dragon and loon, a heal, a rage, a clone, 4 haste spells and a poison. 
This is a Town Hall 10 version of the Electro and Attack strategy, but with a slight adjustment of only one clone spell. Remember, none of these are cookie cutter. Your attacks should slightly differ depending on base you're attacking. He sends in a Stone Slammer from the north and manages to take out two Archer Towers, two Cannons, two Mortars, a Wizard Tower, one Tesla, a Bomb Tower, an Expo, a Clan Castle, and the Enemy Queen. Really good value considering he only brought one clone spell. Saving his heroes for the last portion of the attack, he starts his Lava Loon from the west. Sending in the Hounds in an anti-clockwise direction to provide the tanking, he surgically targets every defense with the Loons behind. Heroes provide even more tanking from the south while he deploys the last set of Loons. Very clever and effective way to use your heroes mid-attack. I really like that. He uses his haste spells to push the balloons and get them through the tough areas, and heals near the wizard towers. And Nog here shows us how effective this strategy can be at Town Hall 10. Very nice job, let's watch him wrap this up. We just watched three fresh attacks straight out of the AWL Revengers Division, War of the Week. All three showcasing how to run Electron at Town Hall 12, 11, and 10. This is a fantastic strategy that all of you can use in your next war hits. Big shout out to America's War League and all of the participating clans. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.